Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment. <coughs> Excuse me. Of Truth by Billy Bean special report. Today's date, March 22, 2023. New. This is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Episode 530, Arrest of President Trump. Some new info. AI and neural implants. The, some information about an ARC ship activating in the Grand Canyon. ET probes recently. Some new information in Alaska and Canada. And the Bermuda Triangle and Monolith. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Awakening Cosmic Reality, Night Shadows, Celeste Salam, Dr. Michael Sala, JWTV, Benjamin Fulford, Plus. So let's get started. Okay. So we have this uh, Israeli News Live also came out with um, uh, a some information today about the report I put out yesterday regarding a bill in Israel to make it a criminal offense and send you to prison for two years for speaking or putting in print or by mail the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, Israeli News Lab Benjamin Netanyahu, yeah, he's bringing out, verifying also that that's going on. Okay. Now we're going to jump into the topic of AI. And I see quite a bit coming out about this chap, uh, chat uh, and so on. Uh, we had, what, uh, Siri and um, Alexa. and Yeah. Okay. So Nano and AI... Night Shadows is bringing this out. Um, yeah, we uh, heard about that Chinese robot that could liquefy, uh, as we had seen in one of the Terminator movies, and then shapeshift, liquefy, and pass through a wall, and then re-solidify into its sh shape. So China has a robot that can do that. So part of this uh, robot's also relates to everywhere we go. We know we have those cell towers. We also have cameras everywhere. Uh, Eagle Eye is a good movie to watch uh, that'll help you uh, understand where are the cameras. And, okay, and so the objective then with the human population animals and plants everything was to put in these nano particles we understand have been coming down in chemtrails and in our food and water okay and uh all right and so we have this from night shadows a bible code from barry rothman uh ties together elon musk and to this day, I don't know, we get one report one day, Elon Musk is a white hat. The next day, Elon Musk is a black hat. Next day, Elon Musk is a cyborg. We just don't know. Okay, so this Bible code, Elon Musk, sabotage, Ibrahim, uh, the, referring to the Jewish Hebrew people who are genetically Jews, H, the former leader of World War II Germany. Sword, slaughter, and germ. So, yeah, that's going on. And now, Alina Kapulnik with Awakening Cosmic Reality is bringing this out uh, about the probes that we saw recently. And this is all part of that nano AI. Uh, okay, so we have, we have Alaska. And then we have Canada, the Yukon area. We have the U.S. We've got Washington State coming down into California. Okay. So recently we heard about these ET probes coming down. I submit to you these 
we're not uh, from an extraterrestrial uh, race or site. I submit they're coming from, I believe, white hats. And I think they were a cylinder, according to Elena, uh, about this big. So, uh, well, they were bigger than that, maybe six to eight feet. And what they were doing, they were mapping underground bases. And the reason they're having to do that is because the geology of the earth is changing. I was in 2020, God said to me, pay attention to the magma rising along the edges of the tectonic plates because the heat is, the earth is heating up from inside. So it's coming up, and then we have Mike from around the world. We have Ben Davidson with suspicious observers also, and other sources, uh, Gilbersard, uh, Pastor Paul Bagley, talking about a space event, something coming in, impacting the Earth, a galactic sheet, the waves of energy, Planet X, Nibiru, something impacting Earth. And I submit to you, it's changing the geology of the earth. We have inside the earth, magma rising and heating. We have this pressure from off earth. We have a weakening electromagnetic shield around the earth. The geology of the earth is changing. I submit these probes were to get a closer mapping of the underground plus the underground bases because we know the white hats are going after the underground bases in alaska and utah and alaska and yukon in canada and so elena is talking about the probes and that occurred february 10 and she says they were transmitting live data to satellites and they were looking for secret bases in Alaska and North Canada. And uh, that this has been going on, this secret space program, uh, certainly associated with Skunk Works and Martin Lockheed and others. And they have bases on the Mars and Moon. That's true. Now, she's talking about this. And the super soldiers uh, are have implants, neural implants uh, in them, and nanotech that was brought about by the Nordics. And the Nordics is an ET race that worked with H in World War II Germany. So that's going on. And there are craft uh, about the Earth that are cloaked with electromagnetic and holograph shields. So all this is coming out. And now we have this. Okay. So now Elena Kapulnik was also talking about um, neural implants. She had some and then she had them recently taken out through uh, what's called psychic surgery. Where you project thought into the mind and you can manipulate matter the similar now Stephen Benoon with the Israeli News Live formerly with the CIA now as a ministry regularly gets updates from the Pentagon came out some months ago and was talking about uh, remote viewers being able to assassinate individuals it's the same principle and but I put forth at that time that assassination could only occur if the person was not a Christian and uh, was not protected by God through Jesus Christ. But thought can be projected and manipulate matter. And so through psychic surgery, Elena Kapulnik had neural implants in her brain and she had those removed she was having they were leaking gold she said okay but what i found of interest was how they got inside her and they got inside her through an injection something like pharma for the arm and that was she was part of a super soldier and they had been in quite a while so now 
we have this uh, shepherd's heart celeste salome had been part of uh, homeland security she left about 20 years ago she's a, a medical background christian talking about synthetic bio uh, something like nano and uh, neural implants and ai something inside the body to link up with uh, a computer systems okay and then it's a uh, hybrid molecular can be in food and water detergent animal feed biodiesel cosmetics pharma textile yep yeah. they have multiple ways of getting out these nanoparticles i submit to you a christian cannot be taken over by these nanoparticles that's what i believe because god is either god or he isn't okay now we have this from JWTV talking about CERN. Now CERN is an underground, like mile uh, oblong uh, track. And they have put speed, uh, like the speed of light. They put particles. and supposedly it was to test and i think also for neutrinos something like that now i'd like to bring out in that movie um uh, uh, i think that was 20 it wasn't 2012 it was another movie uh talking about oh day after tomorrow the weather change and in the beginning of the show, you see a scientist, I think that's Dennis Quaid, he's going, I think that's somewhere in India, underground. And they have these devices, and his protege is showing him, oh, we're tracking the neutrinos. Now, historically, neutrinos are very small particles, and they pass through matter. But in the movie, the day after tomorrow, bringing about this huge weather change globally, he said at the beginning of the movie, but now the neutrinos are impacting matter. So I found that very interesting. Now, JWTV is talking about also CERN, and there, there are multiple uh, CERN locations all over the Earth, uh, ostensibly uh, put in place by the black hats, and now we understand mostly controlled by the white hats. Okay. Now, this um, material uh, can be in uh, food and water, and, and it can produce a hive mind um, type connection to computer systems the towers okay and so this is what uh, jwtv is talking about he's also talking about mike from around the world yeah so the technology exists now uh, with the computer systems and the uh, attachment to humans say we have a human body here so mike from around the world is saying you know like the towers and the ai computers can actually map out and project uh, a like a holographic uh, image of an individual just based on our electromagnetic energy okay and so we have interaction then between uh, different materials and the towers uh, operating at, at hertz now the historically inside the earth we have a vibration it's called the schumann at 7.83 hertz means the vibration is this often per second and that uh, is necessary for human plus other bio life uh, health for our 
physical health and our mental health and stability. But that's, this has been increasing because we have these space uh, objects or changes coming on the earth. And so built into our DNA is the ability to respond to changes in our environment. So it went from 7.83 to sometimes 12.3. But it, it's also spiking sometimes to 40 to 50 hertz per second. But we're absorbing it and we're doing fine. Now, JW is bringing this out. The difference between human or other bio living cells and cyborg, which we understand is the objective of the deep state to turn us all into cyborgs, is cells do not divide uh, for the cyborg. They don't grow and change. Okay. And they're programmable. So that's going on. Now, we have this. Yeah. So to get around this, um, we we need certain frequencies to repair. Now, I know Gene DeCode came out recently and was talking about a grounding mat you could buy that simulates standing barefoot on the earth. So, standing without shoes and touching the earth and dirt and grass is a grounding but you could also buy ground grounding mats. So I'll check that out with them. Uh, and he said they have them for your pets also. And he and his wife had bought grounding mats for themselves and for their pets, and they just go to them. So that's going on. Now we have this. We have Benjamin Fulford talking about President Trump so we'll put some information out now about that arrest that's going on. So President Trump, according to Benjamin Fulford, yeah, he has a double. And uh, he's also, Benjamin is also talking about AI. He's talking about MJ-12. This was the program that developed after World War II and the U.S., we had President Eisenhower and making some agreements with different off-world um, individuals. And uh, then the different secret groups on the earth, uh, off-world uh, blackouts, took it over along with the evil and corrupt uh, ETs, and so now they've put in these nano particles everywhere in these towers. And they're trying to take us over, but God is going to win in the end. And we have this. Uh, so, yeah, the AI is also uh, using uh, different materials to operate and take over humans and attach us to um, the towers. And this also links into our bank and digital money system. Yeah, it's a coordinated effort by the evil ones. So, yep, yeah, we have this going on. Now, uh, yeah, and he's talking about a, a headquarter for the AI Summit. Uh, it's been a recent meeting with the Black Hats in Europe to discuss uh, taking over more of the AI. Okay. Now, this is coming out from Pastor Paul Bailey and Mike from around the world, bringing some additional information. President Trump and this arrest. So what's coming out, and I had other sources for this also, is that Manhattan DA 
Alvin Bragg, and now from Hal Turner, uh, we find out he had received money from George Soros, $1 million for his campaign with this objective to get Trump. And Stormy Daniels uh, was a porn star who was alleging she had an affair with President Trump, but she went to court and she lost because there was no proof of that. Now, uh, what's coming out is President Trump had an attorney, Michael Cohan, and somehow $300,000 was paid out in hush money to Stormy Daniels. Now, uh, rumors are that it's because to cover up an affair President Trump had, but now it's coming out. No. It was Michael Cohen who had the affair with Stormy Daniels, and he was paying her hush money and then billing uh, President Trump for, you know, legal hours. So that's going on. Yeah. And now, uh, yeah, Mike from around the world was also talking about Charles becoming king of England, and the black hats have certain ceremonies, and they needed someone to be a king for certain things to happen. And Mike from around the world is talking about all second term presidents, how their hair turns white, and they're under the control of the black hats. And uh, very likely that uh, uh, that's why President Trump uh, has been uh, handling his uh, uh, informal second term, not formally. So, to get around that. And now we'll go to the Grand Canyon. What's going on there? Okay, Grand Canyon. So, we have the state of Utah. We've got the state of Arizona. And now we have this Grand Canyon uh, uh series going on right here in Arizona. We have what's called the North Rim and the Grand Canyon Lodge. And then we have St. George over here in this area. Up here we've got what's called the Red Canyon. So we have things going on. Now Michael Sala, Dr. Michael Sala brought this out recently that JP, the uh, Army whistleblower. Uh, this has been this information is being put out about the underground areas is being orchestrated by the White Hats. Okay, came out with this uh, February twenty-eight that the U.S. military made a visit to a Grand Canyon area. He did not name. Uh, Describe the Grand Canyon area they went to, but he did talk about they got to the park, a certain area of the park, and they drove for about two hours, and then they entered a cave, and then I think they went by boat for about 40 minutes, and then they come to an area where an ark ship was located. Now, ark ship. I draw them something like this, but they could come in all different shapes. And they have been planted all over the earth, all over our solar system on other planets. And over millions of years from different ET uh, species. So with this one, they had an archaeologist with them, and this individual could simply touch the door, and they're all, we understand, DNA linked. And the ship would open, uh, but JP described the ark ship as being up above the ground, and there were no stairs, so they had to, like, climb up into it. This archaeologist could speak Arabic, and read Egyptian hieroglyphs. And the size of the ship was about uh, 60 feet by 60 feet, or about 
20 meters by 20 meters inside the cave and it was built for a small uh, species with the chairs fitting individuals who would be about four feet or one meter tall now uh, so there were hieroglyphs on the walls that resembled Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs and they came across um, these tablets and the tablets weighed about 65 pounds and they were metal and uh, they were in stacks they were gold and uh, the ceiling was smooth like marble and there were hieroglyphs on the walls and this is what i found very interesting it's like the bible now when i was young i understood the bible we have a literal uh, translate uh, each word is written in like seven levels literal and spiritual uh, math uh, music there's some harmonics uh, oh yeah and uh, I could see ahead in the future when we would be reading the Bible say you had your book uh, your Bible open print on it so the print would rise up and you could even touch the print and know about um, the scene and and uh, hebrew translations and other things and the holy spirit uh, also i had a download from god everything we do has our spirit in it like i'm doing this um uh, video well my spirit my energy that i'm putting into the words will remain attached to this video forever so what's in the bible the it is organic it's living it the holy spirit is embedded in the bible now touching the print and then knowing all these different things correlates to a vision the late uh, prophet uh, Neville Johnson from Australia had of being in a library in heaven and having a similar experience with the book you could touch the book and know everything in it everything about the author what the author meant okay but also one thing I could see what the Bible was in the future we would open it up and if we wanted we uh, I'm assuming this would be transmitted by thought the scene and the bible would rise up like a holograph and we could walk among the holograph and actually see and touch and smell the real people the real inc incident because everything we do is recorded so that's interesting so these tablets according to the description uh, by jp had extra abilities so here's the tablet and they had some stands and they could put the tablet on the stand now what he described i'm assuming the stand had some kind of holes in it that would align with holes in the tablets and you could put a light source behind it and it would project on the walls constellations like that also with these tablets you could move the tablet and orient it toward light or toward shadow and you would see different hieroglyphs appear on it now we're familiar with that technology like a little toy you can rotate and see a different picture on it so i submit to you that these tablets are written in different la layers as is the bible so 
And JT is bringing us out that the writing also is similar to writing they had discovered in Mexico and Florida belonging to the ant people. They also discovered another room that had mummies in it. And this is in the Grand Canyon in Arizona or Utah. And they were about six feet tall. They had tan cloth cloth on them and uh, JP is bringing this out that arcs are activating in Canada the US South America Australia that's accurate and because uh, I'm familiar with uh, all of the arcs information that's been coming out okay and he's saying there was a picture inside this area where they were in the Grand Canyon. And they could see armies, uh, a picture of armies on the walls composed of the ant people and the Nordics. Okay. And uh, Dr. Michael Sala asked uh, JP, what was the mission of the military to go into this a cave and locate this uh, ark ship and JP said their mission was to activate the ship so that's going on and now we have this we have uh, Florida we've got Banimi Bahamas down here we have Puerto Rico, Bermuda, this is Miami. So we've got the Bermuda Triangle going on here that includes Bimini and the Bahamas. And Elena Kapulnik is also talking about what's underwater here. And uh, also in Hawaii, yeah. We do have portals there. Uh, Hawaii was the last part, I think, of Lemuria. That civilization that remained above ground. Okay. Now, Elena Kapulnik is saying in this area they have underwater bases, ET underwater bases, and they have neural link chairs. And I had wondered why there were so many monkey labs in Florida. I believe that was also Joshua Phillip who reported on that. Now we know for experimentation because a lot of these underground ET areas, they're doing genetic manipulation. Okay. Now, Elena Kapulnik is saying that UFOs are attracted to monoliths, pyramids, and ancient sites and ley lines. And I have done several previous videos on information from God regarding monoliths. I'll link those for you. Okay. And she's saying, yes. So the ARC ships on a global basis uh, have come from different... Uh, uh, ETs and different time periods. Arcturus, Pleiadians, Andromeda, Orion. Uh, and we're in areas uh, like Atlantis and Lemuria. Also the Syrian uh, people. And we have arc ships on Earth, the Moon, Mars, Venus, Saturn, Neptune, Plus. Now, she's saying that under an Egypt... Under the Giza, they discovered a new tunnel. And it's, uh, it's in Egypt. And she said it's similar to the Busetti Mountains that are in Romania. Yeah, there are, are uh, there are two ARC ships in Ukraine, in Kiev, in Kherson. The Russians have already taken possession of them. In the Busetti Mountains in Romania, they have like uh, tablets and libraries and holograph machines uh, with records. 
Okay. And now uh, she's saying also the arc ships on a global basis are activating. And she's talking about, uh, yeah, well, this is some more words from a Bible code that Barry Rothman had done. And it ties together the words Eisenhower, USA, President, Government, H, the leader of Germany in World War II, Reptilian, gray, UFO, deceived. Yeah. We know President Eisenhower was an honorable man. He was deceived by the agreements that were made in the 50s, supposedly with the ETs. And now, uh, uh, this is coming about a prophecy as coming out uh, an ancient prophecy when russia takes constantinople and istanbul the messiah will come and so we know that uh, things are going on in this area we have uh, ukraine we have turkey uh, comes out something like that and here is istanbul and part of istanbul contains the ancient constantinople and that was the prophecy when russia takes is istanbul the messiah will come so we see things are going on there so here's a short prayer this is uh, based on the King James Version, Habakkuk and Obadiah. And the name of it is, Write the Vision. The Lord says, Write the Vision, make it plain. The enemy is arrogant, and their nest is among the stars. But says the Lord, I will bring them down. And they will dwell in rocks and eat grass as oxen. And he says to the uh, enemy, our enemies, you were deceived by the pride of your heart. And in that day, foreigners cast lots for Jerusalem. The Lord says, you who move against my people who are aligned with me through my son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, this is what's going to happen to the enemies of God's people. You shall be as if you never were. I, God, will slaughter the evil ones. I will remove the inheritance of your children and remove the landmarks of your names. Write the vision. Make it plain. And we say, Father, bring it. And we say thank you to God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.